Welcome back to our channel, the channel where you can keep up with the latest news and romance stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. We've got some breaking news for you today. Catherine's utmost glamour is the most wanted recycled outfit as she wows the world with her vision. It's widely acknowledged that lightning-fast fashion is terrible for the planet, with it accounting for 10% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. Yet, the Princess of Wales is helping out the planet by recycling from her closet rather than going out and buying new. As a fashion blogger for over a decade, I've always admired Princess Catherine's use of the Kate effect to inspire fashion enthusiasts to pursue fashion sustainably. There are numerous ways to update your style even if you're using old items. I have a daughter, and you, who, like me, adores Princess Catherine. My daughter admires Princess Catherine's efforts to inspire young people, and I, for one, would like to watch the passion and romance between Prince William and Princess Catherine till the final moments of my life. What about you? Well, I must return to discuss these gorgeous clothes that will delight you and give you a new perspective on how to mix and combine old items for a great look like Princess Catherine. Let the fashion show begin. The Princess of Wales possesses reworn outfits on many different occasions, demonstrating to hundreds of millions that anyone's are able to pull off the same stunning gowns on numerous occasions while continuing to appear wonderful. While she donned a stunning long-sleeved black lace Alexander McQueen evening gown to the Warhorse launch in the year 2012, she started to reuse her red carpet gowns. Catherine donned the same stunning black lace gown to a luncheon organized by the St. Andrew's anniversary campaign throughout November of that year. The Princess of Wales attended the BAFTAs in a recycled Alexander McQueen one-shouldered gown alongside black opera gloves, which she'd previously donned in 2019. Roland Murray for the Princess of Wales. The gown in question is called the Lombard, after actress Carol Lombard, who inspired the creator's 2009 collection. Catherine donned the gown to an event thrown by the 30 Club during 2012 and again in December of 2013 for the Mandela The Long Journey to Independence opening. During December 2013, the princess surprised for an additional occasion while she donned the ensemble to a ceremony at the National History Museum in London to attend the opening of the Sir David Attenborough's Alive film. The wool crepe gown is entirely trimmed in silky and has a gently pleated sleeves. It additionally comes with an uneven zip closure down toward the back. The garment is described as a contemporary style featuring meticulously designed panelling that helps define the figure and construct slender lines by Roland Moray. The gown in question originates from Roland Moray's white collection, featuring a refined range of elegant, classic bridal gowns. Originally known as the Lombard gown, Roland Moray eventually renamed it the Ella gown. Catherine had previously spoken about her environmental views while delivering the prize at the annual Earthshot Prize Honours event in the year 2021. Nature is essential for every single one of us, she remarked. Unfortunately, we've disregarded our natural areas for longer than necessary, so we've been at a crossroads. If we fail to take action currently, our world will be irrevocably destabilized, depriving our kids of the prospects that they demand. Princess Catherine previously demonstrated that she'd become just as fashionable and trendy as A-listers encircling her while attending the BAFTAs, wearing a repurposed white and black Alexander McQueen one-shoulder gown, the fact that she originally donned in the year 2019. The floral pattern of the shoulder area has been switched for a flowing stream of cloth in the repurposed number. She paired the exquisite gown with contemporary black opera mittens plus a black clutch back giving her old garment a fresh look. Catherine, Princess of Wales, looks lovely in the colour turquoise and the Jenny Packham gown in 2012 and 2018. The sole discretion between the two looks is that she wore her tresses up in 2012 while covering the shoulder area in 2018. Catherine is dressed in a bespoke rendition of Jenny Packham's Aspen attire which features lovely silken chiffon, lightweight lace-capped cuffs, and an elaborately embroidered waistline. All of the details of the design work together to create a standout gown. This particular style is a showstopper. Catherine donned her black lacy Alexander McQueen evening outfit to a luncheon organized by the St. Andrew's Anniversary Campaign in November 2012. 
and she returned in December of 2013 when she went to the National History Museum in Edinburgh to experience a screening of Sir David Attenborough's alive film. The gown was made of sheer embroidery and lace over an unadorned satin material, a heavy trimming at the belt and throat enhancement that lengthened to the floor of the outfit. The gown in question is a piece from the creator's spring 2011, ready-to-wear collection. The identical Jenny Packham gown made an appearance during an April edition of Gossip Girl, which created quite a stir. As it turns out, it was quite to be similar, yet not identical to the other outfit. In the midnight blue Jenny Packham evening outfit that she wore with her locks down during the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. in February of 2014, and afterwards pulled it back into a beautiful shingon for the St. Andrew's dinner in New York City for the following December. Jenny Packham's Aspen wedding outfit, taken from the spring 2012 design, inspired the stunning floor-sweeping dress. A transparent lacy back, lacy capped cuffs and Swarovski studded belt comprises plus a flowy silky chiffon hemline that completes the look. During the state banquet of the nation of Malaysia in 2012, the princess wore a traditional Alexander McQueen outfit by the designer Sarah Burton, as well as accessorized with Van Cleef and Arbels. The ivory gown had a transparent covering, featuring golden lay needlework surrounding the bodice, throat and centerpiece of the costume. The identical fabric was utilized to produce the shimmering hibiscus blossom pattern strewn across the cloth. A wide empire waistline, shirt white fabric across the collapsed, simple terms and sheer cuffs, plus a voluminous flowing hemline were also featured. The Princess of Wales reused her off-the-shoulder Alexander McQueen dress from the year 2017, inserting shorter sleeves for a modest modification in the year 2019. Alexander McQueen created this Bardot-inspired gown. The black gown had little white flowers adorning the bodice and the extended layered hemline. It's a customized variation of the tiered violent jacquard gown taken from the creator's fall 2016 design. Alexander McQueen's team altered the gown's chest and sleeves for Catherine. During 2019, the Princess of Wales walked down into a tuk-tuk and surprised the world in a deep green sequin Jenny Packham gown. Whenever she donned it once in 2021, she maintained the similar look with her locks pulled down over one of her shoulders. Jenny Packham's embellished the tenile outfit, featuring dazzling rhinestones and crystals carefully positioned around the bodice, waistline and sleeves. She made the garment out of gorgeous forest green satin. Catherine dazzled viewers by wearing a bespoke lilac Alexander McQueen gown in 2011, then repeated the impression in 2021 while she appeared at Alexander Palace in the exact same gown with a small variation by accessorizing with an additional ribbon to bring in her small waistline. A lengthened to the floor dress that featured the Grecian gown, the outfit ruffled from head to toe, and Catherine seemed to have had her blouse altered, with a neckline that is scooped and capped sleeves, adding to a match the bustier top. A pink ribbon is seen attached to the clothing that's ready for the garment. Catherine accessorized her gown with glittering belts. Princess Catherine chose Susie Cave's contemporary metallic materials for her very first collaborative formal photo shoot with Prince William this past year, re-wearing the Vampire's Wife's green outfit. Have you heard of the brand The Vampire's Wife? Susie Cave developed the label, which emits the particular dark romanticism that had become synonymous with the company's name. The gowns are beautiful and luxurious, yet simple, frequently including shimmering fabric deceptions, beautiful ruffles with three-quarter hemlines, among the other features which have become a trademark of the company's designs. Susie has established a particular aesthetic for the vampire's wife, so you can identify one a mile away. The Princess of Wales donned the DVF, Diana von Furstenberg Zurita. Its entire length dress is black, wearing her locks up for the initial time in the year 2014. And then she donned it once more in 2017, wearing her hairstyle swept back and a diamond studded bracelet around her right hand. The ensemble satisfies the majority of the requirements of the formal attire for the princess. It features a fitting top body, lacing and long length of skirt. The gown is made of the poly-nylon combination with a small amount of elastine in the inner fabric, providing an additional flexible fitting. Throughout an excursion of India, the princess donned a cobalt-colored Jenny Packham outfit accompanied by a coordinating shawl. 
subsequently wearing it once more for the place-to-be formal banquet at the palace. Jenny Packham's dark blue length into the floor outfit has an expansive scooping neckline and embellished body and floating silk skirts. Catherine is wearing a custom scarf plus handbag. Thanks for watching the video today. What do you think of the way that she's repurposed her clothes? Does the Kate effect stem from her preference for re-wearing outfits? Or does she breathe fresh life into outdated outfits? Please let us know what you think and which one you prefer. And for the time being, farewell.